Alright guys, today we're buying a new car. I know you haven't seen me in such a long time. Thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. In the next video, we're going to be doing the PS5 giveaway. We're going to be doing it on live on Instagram. So if you guys want to stay tuned, you can go on Instagram and see that. But we'll be also be filming it for YouTube. A car is here that I ordered one year ago. We're heading out to Lamborghini Long Island right now. I'm going to give a big shout out to Jack and to Marco for helping us get this car because Lamborghinis are sold out until 2024. I think I spec this one out really well. And I'm back! We're back. We're gonna be making a lot more YouTube videos. Your boy's been super, super busy. We're gonna show you a project that we just completed today as well. Doing real estate, construction. Let's go pick up this car and then we'll head to the house and I can show you guys the project that we just finished before and after. I'm really excited actually. I haven't driven a car in like a year. It's been like a year since I've talked to you guys. Can you imagine that? Oh my God. We just passed by the Lamborghini dealer. Oh. Okay, see you inside. I come here and I, and I take all the snacks when they look like she's not there. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, I saw it. How did you see it? I see everything. Who travels with cereal? I was in a cereal? rush in to a work. In a plastic container. <laughs> Don't film that. I was hungry. I had no eggs in the house. Wow, well, what kind of cereal do you walk around with? What is it called? Gorilla Munch. Gorilla. <laughs> Every time I come here, I'm just gonna bring cereal now. I can't with your hurry. You're eating Cocoa Puffs. Something <laughs> wrong with you. You ready? Always right. Alright guys, welcome to the brand newly renovated Lamborghini dealer of Long Island. So right behind in the covers is my brand new car that I've been waiting one year for. It's finally here. I'm gonna undeal it right now. It's your car, it's not mine. Take off the covers. Crazy. What do you think? Beautiful car. Beautiful, right? Well, so we changed the spec about three times. I think I came up with the best spec possible. We have blue Elios, metallic. Take a look at that metallic on the car. We went with the new, brand new Technica rims that we saw at the New York Auto Show. We went with the comfort seats. I had the bucket seats in my STO, but uh, we decided to go with comfort because we were be taking this car on for long drives and stuff. This is a brand new ad personam specking area for Lamborghini. We just finished renovating the whole dealership and take a look at the model car. Wow, this thing is crazy. You know, this is the first model car I ever got from Lamborghini. I've never got one and I've had almost 12 Lamborghinis. Because you bought your 12th one from us. I don't know where you bought your 12th, 13th, and 14th is coming from here. <laughs> and Jack's gonna take us for a tour over here. Let's start here. This is the Ed Persona. So you could custom build your Lamborghini to any color. You could actually put stripes on them now, Tanya flag or regular stripes. And here's your leather samples. Oh, they do blue guaco leather? They do, yes. Wow. This is all leather. And yeah, we're still waiting for more samples to come in. And these are your wheels. This is full plaster cabinetry. Look at that. That's all plastered, sanded to make this crazy light. This is sick. I subscribe. Right, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sure. You're the first person to sit in it. Really? Yeah. Gosh. Sick, right? Yeah. It's brand new. Look, it only has 33 miles on it. It just came from Italy. That's crazy. We spec'd it about a year ago. I really love the interior. Too. Right? It's my favorite part of the car. Thanks for letting me sit in this. It's yeah, no problem. I love this color. The only reason why I did this is I saw STO here. It was the same color on yellow, and I was like, I need to do this. Because you can't order STOs anymore. So we're like, we have to order the Technica in the same spec. Yes. I gotta sign paperwork. Mm. Of course, one thing. <laughs> let's go, let's go hit your dad's dad, credit card. He gave it to me yesterday. Let's go sign. I'm gonna go forge dad's name now. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. That's why she's still here. Sign here and here. You're good, buddy. You're good. What, did you take your dad's credit card again? <laughs> I have it on me right now just in case I needed it today. 
So I said, if you guys want to take my Revolto deposit, you can take it down. My yeah, man, yeah. thank you for everything. Thank Congratulations. You. I can't wait to take this car on the drive. We're going to tat it up real quick and hop on the road. Welcome to the new Huracan Technica. Don't you love this interior? I love how bright it is. First thoughts from the Technica. Super smooth, doesn't compare. It drives very similar to the STO actually, because it's rear wheel drive. It has almost 640 horsepower. I'm taking it a little easy because the car has no PPF. We're raw dog in it right now. V10 from Lamborghini. I'm really appreciative to Lamborghini Long Island for giving me the opportunity to own the last V10 because now they're going into more of hybrids, electric motors. So let me order a Revolto next. I'm really pumped that Jack gave me the okay for the Revolto. I'm actually really excited about that. Oh, somebody's at the door. Hi, how may I help you? Are you here for the open house? Come on in. Welcome to Larve, which means the dream. You guys just saw us picking up the Lamborghini Huracan. Now you guys wanna know, how do we get the Lamborghini Huracan? Or how do we get all the cars in general? Right here is a full gut rental that I just completed. This house was a disaster when we started. When I say disaster, it was a complete disaster. We're gonna add some clips right now so you guys can see the before. and take a look at the difference of what we did here. We did a full gut renovation, brand new plumbing, brand new electrical, brand new sheetrock. Everything was done to the bone and done brand new. And this thing came out phenomenal, phenomenal. I just love the way it came out. So let's start out, we're in the living room. All the furnishings are done by West Elm and Restoration Hardware. So the whole house is basically open concept. Over here we have the kitchen, dining room in one. Movie chandeliers, they look amazing. We have this honed quartz island that has like a crazy shine to it. These kitchen pendants are immaculate. I just love the brass features. We went with a brass kitchen island sink. We have gas cooking over here. And by the way, every tile that you see in this house is radiant heated. We have the pot filler. We have the matching vent hood. The inspiration from this kitchen was black, white, and gold. And we got every single aspect of black, white, and gold in this kitchen. And a little bit of gray here and there in the quartz back here. We have a marble backsplash with the herringbone style. We went with the LED integrated lights for ambient lighting at night. The house just feels very nice, airy, open. And that was the, the, the idea that we we're going for here. When we bought the house, there was literally one wall over here. So the kitchen was basically a galley kitchen going to the outside door. This was the dining room. There was a solid wall here. You're gonna see in the pictures and videos. And there was another solid wall here. So you had the living room, then you had the dining room, and then you had the kitchen, but everything was just boxed in. And we ended up adding a powder room on the first floor. Super modern, elegant, European style. One with a floating bottle cap drain, floating vanity. We did the fluted wood panels on the side with a nice marble tile on the top. And we went with the herringbone marble tile on the wall and on the floor. Let's take a look at the living room. In the living room, we have hardwood floors, white oak. We have a panda marble fireplace. This thing is insane, book matched. And we have a electric fireplace and a marble mantle. And uh, we did the fluted accents outside as well. This house 
just gives you really good vibes. It's amazing. For the stairs, we wanted to keep, instead of putting railings here, we wanted the whole front and back of the house to feel open. So we put glass to distinguish the rooms apart. You guys ready to go upstairs? Cause this is where all the bedrooms are. And all the magic happens. Take a look at these modern stairs, everything open, airy. So you're greeted upstairs with this console table where you can keep your keys any belongings, essentials. Here is the main bedroom. So you have one walk-in closet over here, which is very crazy for New York City. It's very hard to find these big rooms that you see over here with the walk-in closets. It's like insane. You can barely even see stuff like this. And then you have two other side closets over here, which we put built-ins in. We have built-ins in all the closets. Over here is the primary bathroom. Everything white Carrera. Floating vanities, floating sinks, wall-mounted faucets, wall-mounted toilet, crazy LED uh, mirror, have a tub. We went with a crazy hex design for the accent wall. And by the way, all this is radiant heated. And we also added an extra drain out here for cleaning. If anybody wants to clean, they can just throw the water in into there to clean the bathroom. Look at how nice this is. Elegant, modern, calm. This is my favorite part is the floating toilets. They're so elegant. Why would you want toilets on the floor when you can get floating toilets? And part of the second floor, we also have an extra bedroom slash office wasn't stayed so you guys can use it for whatever you want. Every single door in the house is solid oak wood. Not that hollow shit. We went with brass handles, painted it black. These are all solid hardwood floors. Over here, this bedroom also has a walk-in closet. Like I said, very hard to find homes with walk-in closets in, uh, in New York City. All right, let's get on up to the third floor. Take a look at this LED accent we did. And we also did it shining down on the first floor stairs. So when you're coming in at night and all the lights are off in the house and you just keep the LED accents that we have put in, the house just glows on a nice calming feeling. So right here is the third floor. And this, there's another primary bedroom up here because of how big the bedrooms are in this house. So right here, you have a nice seating area. You can put on your shoes, hang out, read a book, and you have this double story view right behind you. Welcome to primary bedroom number two. Check out these vaulted ceilings. Look how high that is. We have about 15 feet over here and we fully customized this window to fit this area. When we came here, the window was right up to here and we wanted to bring all the natural light into the house. We decided to put a crazy big window up here and how good do the ceilings feel up here? The house has four central units. Up here has its own two zones for each room. You have a, you have a closet with built-ins, a little seating area. When we built this house, we came up with three sources of heat because of the New York winters are crazy. We have baseboard heat, we have central heating, and we have radiant heating. And this is a second bedroom. Like I said, really big size bedrooms over here. Walk-in closet. And I can't wait for you guys to see the bathroom because this is my favorite bathroom in the whole entire home. This bathroom was fully customized, full slabs on the walls, full crazy slabs. This vanity was custom built just for this bathroom. We did a triple inset, fluted top and floating sink. Look how crazy this is. It looks sick. And as you see here, the shower, we did everything one single level. There's no step going into the shower. Floating toilet with brass accents and Nice open shower. And as you see right here, we did the drain. So say for example, you're taking a shower and some water comes out, the water will just goes straight into the drain. Everything is pitched towards the drains. And you have brass, look at this crazy accent wall, white marble with brass accents, LED accent lightings, and look at that skylight. This is my favorite bathroom. I'll just stay in here all day and take my little poopies. See, I don't even want to leave this bathroom. That's how nice it is. Ah, I just want to live here. This house is like really nice, but it could be your guys. I literally built this house out of my heart as if I was going to live in here. So that's why all the finishes are done to the max. Whatever we can think of, we put into this house. The basement, the man cave area. This room is going to be staged soon. Maybe in the next coming videos, we'll show it. But we did the epoxy resin on the floor with the high gloss finish. We have the laundry room over here. If the boys are trying to sneak in at night, they have their own separate entrance to come down here to the man cave or have people over. We have the brand new boiler system that we put in 
with hot water heater, boiler system, brand new electrical, gas meters, everything is brand new in this house. And last but not least, final bathroom. All white bathroom with blue vanity. This is immaculate, this is insane. And we do have a bedroom over here, but it's filled with furniture. All right, yeah, here's the bedroom. All right, let's not show the room. Also, another rare thing to have in New York City is a one-car garage. And we epoxy the whole floors with this marble metallic effect. Come, we have their own private driveway over here. We have four-car parking, which is like impossible to find over here as well. It's actually a pretty nice place. I love this place. I would totally live here. It's available on the market. If you guys are interested, message me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We had an amazing time picking up the Lamborghini Huracan showing you the project we've been working on since November. This is why we haven't been really posting on YouTube. I hope you guys stay tuned because we have a lot of content coming. The 50,000 subscriber giveaway is gonna be the next video, so you guys stay tuned for that. We're gonna be going live on Instagram and uh, picking a winner for the PS5 giveaway. I wanna thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers because I can't believe we actually made it there. That's, that's a great accomplishment. Our next goal is 100,000 subscribers. We're gonna be posting a lot of content now. We're gonna try for at least once a month. Hope you guys stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel down below. If you'd like to watch my SVJ Times Square takeover, click this video right here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.